Newton School Committee says they are close to a deal. Good afternoon. I'm Paula Evan. Now, the two sides will be talking again this afternoon. And they're also going to meet up in court. WBZ's Anna Myler shows us where things stand. Both sides negotiated throughout the night until 6 o'clock this morning. At this point, there is still no deal. This is the 11th day of school the students are missing as hundreds of educators remain on the picket line. I've been saying the word frustration a lot. I don't think that's an adequate word anymore. The Newton Teachers Association says a deal appeared on the horizon when both sides agreed on compensation around 4 a.m. The union is now accusing the school committee of changing their stance on other issues. So it seems like a lot of the non-monetary pieces of the contract came back onto the table, whether there could be full-time social workers in every building. We thought we had agreements on that, and now it seems like we do not. The school committee just released a statement saying both sides have agreed on cost of living adjustment increases for teachers and paraprofessionals, and that the remaining contractual issues to resolve are related to flexibility the district seeks for its leadership to manage the structure of the school day and best serve students. As the dispute drags on, students have now missed 11 days of school. The upcoming February vacation is now canceled as a way to make up some of that missed time. I think it's unfair to both the students and the educators coming off of this long and difficult strike to then ask them to change their schedules once again. So. I would ask them to reconsider. As well. It's not just classes that are impacted. The strike has also brought the winter sports season to a halt. The basketball team at Newton South is organizing their own practices at the YMCA, but they can't play any games until a deal is reached, which is especially difficult for the seniors. It would really be a shame if like, we had to forfeit some of these games because like, I'm never going to get this back. The Healy administration is now stepping in, demanding status updates twice a day. And if an agreement is not reached by 5 p.m. Today, the Commonwealth Employment Relations Board is requesting the court order binding arbitration. Both sides are returning to the bargaining table at 1 o'clock this afternoon. The school committee says they are optimistic a deal will get done and students will be back in class on Monday. In Newton, Anna Myler, WBZ News.